This video is about combining logs and exponents. Please pause the video and take a moment to use your calculator to evaluate the following four expressions. Remember that log base 10 on your calculator is the log button, while log base e on your calculator is the natural log button. You should find that the log base 10 of 10 cubed is 3. The log base e of e to the 4.2 is 4.2. 10 to the log base 10 of 1,000 is 1,000, and e to the log base e of 9.6 is 9.6. In each case, the log and the exponential function with the same base undo each other, and we're left with the exponent. In fact, it's true that for any base a, the log base a of a to the x is equal to x. The same sort of cancellation happens if we do the exponential function and the log function with the same base in the opposite order. For example, when we take 10 to the power of log base 10 of 1,000, the 10 to the power and the log base 10 undo each other, and we're left with the 1,000. This happens for any base a. a to the log base a of x is equal to x. We can describe this by saying that an exponential function and a log function with the same base undo each other. If you're familiar with the language of inverse functions, the exponential function and the log function are inverses. Let's see why these rules hold. For the first log rule, log base a of a to the x is asking the question, what power do we raise a to in order to get a to the x? In other words, a to what power is a to the x? Well, the answer is clearly x, and that's why log base a of a to the x equals x. For the second log rule, notice that the log base a of x means the power we raise a to to get x. But this expression is saying that we're supposed to raise a to that power. If we raise a to the power we need to raise a to to get x, then we'll certainly get x. Now let's use these two rules in some examples. If we want to find 3 to the log base 3 of 1.4, 3 to the power and log base 3 undo each other, so we're left with 1.4. If we want to find ln of e to the x, remember that ln means log base e. So we're taking log base e of e to the x, well, those functions undo each other, and we're left with x. If we want to take 10 to the log of 3z, remember that log without a base written implies that the base is 10. So really, we want to take 10 to the log base 10 of 3z. Well, 10 to a power and log base 10 undo each other, so we're left with the 3z. Finally, does this last statement hold? Is ln of 10 to the x equal to x? Well, ln means log base e. So we're taking log base e of 10 to the x. Notice that the base of the log and the base of the exponential function are not the same. So they don't undo each other. And in fact, log base e of 10 to the x is not usually equal to x. We can check with one example. Say if x equals 1, then log base e of 10 to the 1, that's log base e of 10. And we can check on the calculator. That's equal to 2.3 and some more decimals, which is not the same thing as 1. So this statement is false. It does not hold. We need the bases to be the same for logs and exponents to undo each other. In this video, we saw that logs and exponents with the same base undo each other. Specifically, log base a of a to the x is equal to x, and a to the log base a of x is also equal to x for any values of x and any base a.